Good afternoon, everyone. This is Christian with PerfectStockAlert.com, a 100% free service for smart investors and traders. All we ask in return, please refer a friend. Today, we're going to be looking at the definition of accumulated amortization as we do in each one of these fundamental analysis tutorial videos. I'll give you the actual definition, and then we'll go on to look at an example and give you a little bit more insight in how it's actually used. Accumulated amortization is a figure that represents the use of an intangible asset. Intangible assets have specific, useful lives and include items like patents, copyrights, contract rights, in addition to similar items not felt or seen. Companies do not expense these items immediately after purchase. Accountants post an amortization expense each month to represent the use of the intangible asset being used up. Accumulated amortization is a contra asset that reduces the overall asset dollar amount on the company's balance sheet. Now let's actually go look at some examples. For this example, we're going to start off looking at Walmart Stores Incorporated. And I already know that there's not going to be anything under the line item here, but I'm going to show it to you anyway, just so you guys get a really good understanding what we're talking about here. If you've already watched the previous video on the line item called Intangible Assets going on the balance sheet there, then you're going to be more familiar with accumulated amortization. If you haven't, I recommend you do so. I will attempt to uh, kind of catch you up in case you haven't. But again, I recommend you watch the previous video on tangible assets before watching accumulated amortization. Uh, quick little note here. Intangible assets, like the definition told you, are items that you cannot uh, actually be touched or seen, and they are basically invisible to air, or basically. Uh, whenever you have uh, the you know, something like a patent or a copyright, you have the rights to do something, uh, that is an intangible asset. Now, that intangible asset has a life of its own. It's only good for so much time. So, let's say that, for an example, uh, you were Walmart stores and you decided you wanted to open up a store in China somewhere and we're just making this example because I don't really actually have any idea what it would be like trying to open a store in, in China but let's just say that while they're over there they say okay the Chinese government says it's going to cost you $50,000 uh, for this business license it's good for five years okay well that's an intangible asset so they purchased this thing and then over here that you would see $50,000 wrote up right there that's where the cost of that intangible asset is now on the first year, after that first year was uh, actually uh, done, they actually had used the $10,000 of that $50,000 because remember it's spread out over five years. So right here on their intangible assets, you would still see $50,000 in this case. And so right below that, they would have to then uh, use a contra account known as accumulated uh, amortization, which would show $10,000, which would sub be basically subtracting from the intangible asset above it, keeping the balance sheet in balance. That's what that purpose is. Most of the time, you're not going to see it the way that you're seeing it here on Yahoo Finance with intangible assets here and then accumulated amortization below that. Let me show you a company that actually has some intangible assets. Okay, now we are looking at Merck and Company. Ticker symbols MRK. Let's go up here real quick and show you that. All right. So basically, you've got yourself a, a drug company. They're obviously going to have patents and things of that nature. So the the intangible assets would come into play more uh, with this company than it would, of course, with uh, Walmart. So here you are your intangible assets, and you will see it's showing the 31.6 billion dollars. And then prior to that, you're showing 33 billion, and before that, 34 billion, and before that, you can't see it, but it was 35 billion. So it's obviously decreasing here. And you'll notice accumulated amortization; nothing's going on here. That's because you know Yahoo Finance is not known for having the most up-to-date uh, and complete uh, financial data on stocks. And so, uh, actually, what's going on here is intangible assets. In most cases, is reported net. It would actually be written out intangible assets, comma net, which basically means this is the intent, the value of the intangible assets after we have already subtracted the accumulated amortization. Now, in this case, you're seeing both of them listed, and this is not showing you anything, but you can see because it's reducing 34, 33, 31, they're actually pulling that out, that, that uh, uh, amortization expense. And amortization is nothing more than uh, depreciation. The difference between depreciation and amortization is simply on the, the asset type. If you're talking about intangible assets, then they're going to call it amortization. If you're talking about uh, tangible assets such as property, plant, and equipment, things of that nature, or property and, and equipment at least, uh, then they're going to be doing the depreciation. It's exactly the same thing, just different words. So now let's go look at somebody who's a little bit more uh, on top of or on the ball. Let's go look at uh, Google Finance and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, here we are on the American company and we are on Google Finance and we're on the balance sheet right here okay and we're looking at the uh, annual data now we start to move on down let me clean that up a little bit we start to move on down the page here get down to the uh, below the assets <coughs> move that right there 
Got the old tools again. All right. Okay. And we get down to the intangible assets, and there it is, intangibles net. And this is again, it's just simply combining those two items. There's an the intangible line item, uh, and they've already subtracted the uh, accumulated amortization, and that's actually being shown uh, over here, which you can't see just right there. So let me go ahead and move this over. And if I move this over, you will see it right there. Okay. So that's what I'm talking about when I talk about intangibles and net. It's basically the combination of the intangible uh, asset line item as well as the uh, accumulated amortization. Please take a moment to review our disclaimer. The information provided herein is our opinion only. Under no circumstances do any statements here represent a recommendation to buy or sell securities or make any kind of an investment. You are responsible for your own due diligence. To summarize, we do not provide investment advice nor do we make any claims or promises that any information here will lead to a profit loss or any other result. These videos are for educational purposes only.